Hotep Libra. Welcome to your What's Going On Behind Closed Doors Chapter 8 Love Reading for the month of October 2020. Or the end of the month of October 2020, going into November, okay? Y'all know me as the Cosmic Divine Tarot. And I'm going to set this bad boy off with the Dark Mirror Oracle Cards. All right? <clears throat> yeah. Let's see what's up with you, Libra. You doing all right? You doing okay? Let me call upon my higher self, call upon my ancestors, call upon Panathotu and the universe for this accurate message that we have for the Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, and Venus sign. feeling some type of way <laughs> I'm feeling some type of way Libra I have I have some good feelings but also have some bad feelings you know I have some things you know good that's going on something bad also going on with all this goodness or something good going on with all this badness so let's see what the heck these feelings are about all right let's cut the deck See, what the heck? <clears throat> what messages do we have for our Libra? For what's going on behind closed doors? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. What messages do we have for the Libra? Daggone candles keep going out. Mm. Naked before the stars. Libra, naked before the stars. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Number 18. Aquarius got that card too. So you naked before the stars like Aquarius, naked before the stars. Number 18. Sorry, the jack on light is not good in here. All right, here we go. Accepting our own beauty in size, color, age, and fat. The visual seed says, a beautiful curvy woman wears lacy lingerie. One is a black corset and she kneels in her full sensuality under the lights of a million artificial stars the sentence is there is no perfection that is worth enough there is imperfection as proud as the heavens mm. all right all right hmm. let's put this over here then Kind of act like it goes out, then burns again. Strange. I'm happy I seen that over there. <laughs> are you Mitrok, Libra? What are you talking about? Are you in love with somebody behind closed doors and they loving all over your body, curves and all? Who is this person all over you? Like I said, you're getting some really good stuff, right? <laughs> but there's some bad going on with that good. Mm. Let's see. Get you two more shuffles, Libra. And let's uh, see what the heck is going on here behind closed doors. Cut the deck. See what the heck. All right. <laughs> What messages do we have for our Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? What messages do we have for our Libra? What you got? What you got, Libra? Oh, the lovers. 
<laughs> Uh-oh. The lovers. Okay. Wah, wah, Libra. So, like I said, you behind closed doors with somebody. And you're making a decision, Libra, because the lovers is a decision card as well. You're making a decision to go ahead and be all sensual with what you look like. However you look. Whatever uh, size, shape, color, age, or fat you got on you, you know what I'm saying, body size, you're like uh, making the decision to go ahead and be comfortable with that, with your lover. And that's what's going on, Libra. You, yeah, you're making the decision to just be comfortable with who you are and the size that you are, Libra. All right? Mm, look at hair. What the heck is this, Libra? Uh, here's the eight of wands. Eight of wands, because you unprayed about it. You unprayed to the universe about it and your ancestors, your gods, your, you know, whatever gods you worship and your angels went ahead and responded to you. And you are in communication with them right now. Or you're communicating to your person that you are feeling good in your own skin because you had already prayed about it. You meditated about it out there in the woods and whatnot, you know, out there in the shrine that you build up for yourself. You prayed about it. You see your hands is up praying, communicating with the stars. That's what you're communicating with, your ancestors. And you are naked before those stars, all right? <laughs> awesome. Now, here's the three of chalices. Libra, I know you don't like to see that card, but don't be knocking cards out of my hand, man. <laughs> Here's the three of chalices. Uh, the three of chalices is talking about, you know, I don't have to be talking about a third party. I don't have to be talking about a third party. Or maybe you went ahead and prayed to your ancestors or to your gods and to receive an answer. Is there a third party in the mix, Libra? And here is the, the nine of swords. The Nine of Swords, this is like, you know, you haven't been able to uh, rest until you got an answer about there being a third party with you and your lover. All right. Or maybe this is saying or could also be saying, which I'm really leaning towards. It's saying that you have healed this reoccurring nightmare of you not being able to rest mentally, emotionally, uh, spiritually. Uh, about your own body, about who you are. So the three of chalices is healing that. You prayed about it. Now you healed from that. Now this this nightmare is over. So this been a nightmare for you, and your your whole your whole body and the way that you look. All right. Now here's the two of chalices. No, the three of chalices. The three of chalices. So. So you, uh, Three of Chalices is, is my throne card, building up the home and, and whatnot. You know, this person look like, in this deck, they look like, uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. They just look like they are, they are trying to participate and trying to help out. Whatever it is that is going on, they're trying to help out. They're trying to, you know, do their part in making you feel good. So your person, whoever you're dealing with, is trying to do their part in making you feel beautiful. Excuse me. I need to get something to drink, y'all. Okay, your person is trying to do their part, making you feel like the beautiful person that you are. What other messages do we have for our Libra? Yeah. <clears throat> now, you could be dealing with uh, the lovers as a Gemini. You also could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, okay? Here is the uh, Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, so it's a, it's a good and favorable environment in your home right now because you're satisfied, you're you're secured with how you look and or whatever. You know, it's like, you're secured with that. If you got some curves, if you got, you know, you're carrying a little weight or whatever, 
whatever, there may be something disfigured about you that you feel like, you know, or maybe a mark that you have on your body, a burnt mark or something, something about your physical appearance that you have not been um, secured with is now coming to you being secured about it. You're starting to be secured about it. All right. Behind closed doors with your lover. That's the judgment right there. That's the judgment card. All right. So, hey, that's the judgment of the stars. The judgment of the stars is that, you know, this whole thing is just going to end. And you're just going to be in love right now. This, this daggone uh, insecurity that you have about whatever... Uh, is going on with your body or your appearances come to an end and that's the judgment all right you are called on the stars your ancestors and came down like look you are absolutely beautiful libra you are magnificent look at you look at you curves and all defects and all whatever the heck is going on uh burnt mark cut whatever whatever's going on with your body age however old you are you're beautiful you're beautiful. And it's time for you to accept that, Libra. You may be dealing with a cancer. Chariot card right here. So, you're triumphant. <laughs> you're triumphant. You're successful and triumphant in loving yourself, Libra. Because you are the daggone queen of wands here anyway. You didn't know that you were already beautiful, Libra. You didn't know that you were already bold and feisty and passionate and, and sexy as all hell. You didn't know that because people weren't telling you that, Libra. Or even if people were telling you that, you were you didn't believe what, what these people were telling you. You didn't believe what what you saw when you looked in the mirror at yourself. You didn't believe that that was how beautiful you really were. I don't know why that was but <laughs> Libra you are you are absolutely spectacular okay absolutely spectacular mm. look the uh, page of pentacles so now you coming up with all kind of ideas and rituals of beauty right of of loving your own body and your own sexiness you coming up with all kind of ideas about that since you're the queen of uh pentacles you are i mean the queen of uh wands you are passionate about what it is that you're doing all right all right now here's the uh the knight of uh pentacles yeah, so you slayed this beast that was inside of you. It may have been an ancestor. It may have been your childhood memories. It may have been anything in you, whatever it was, whoever it was, a past lover, anything that made you feel that you were not sexy and beautiful and fine as hell, regardless of the, your age, sign, color, race, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You slayed that mug, and now you got all kind of love pouring on you. You got love pouring on you from the person that you're with, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. All right, you got all kind of, you have all type of love pouring on you from this person and from yourself. And from yourself. And the third chalice up here is from the universe. It's from the universe and your ancestors pouring that love on you. And your God pouring that love on you. Because it's just that time, Libra. It's just that time for you to feel that you are absolutely beautiful. The beautiful person that you've always been your whole life. But people have been making you feel other than that. Here we got the seven of uh, swords. Seven of swords and the eight of pentacles. It was cemented in you, the wrong that was done to you in the past, the wrong and the evil actions of your childhood or people from your childhood or ex-mates or whoever made you feel that you were not good enough. That, that was cemented in you. 
But right now, it's time for those actions to be gone and for you to be cemented and secured in the fact that you are gorgeous. You are gorgeous. You're beautiful, Libra. You're beautiful. Leave those memories with the five of wands. Leave those memories out in the cold or go back in time and pick up every single time you felt all these wands that people were throwing at you. Go back in time in your mind and your soul and clean it up. Clean it up. It's time to take those memories, each branch at a time, pick them up and transform them into something more beautiful. Accept that that happened to you. Accept that that happened to you, You these memories that you have in your past. Accept that it hurt you and move on. It's time to move on. Let me get you one more card, Libra. Yeah, ten of swords. Ten of swords. Each of these, each of these wands represent a ten of swords. Where someone backstabbed you and made you feel that you were not beautiful. But look at you. Look at this woman. This woman is gorgeous. She has on her beautiful red dress, I mean white dress with her red little tie, her red beads that, you know, is a beautiful necklace. She has her hair done. Her house is done up beautiful. Okay, she is she has her hair done, but people have made her feel as if she was not beautiful, as if she was not good enough. People from her past that she has to go back and pick up these wands. And love herself and all of those memories. Whenever somebody made you feel that you were not good enough, you go back and tell yourself that you were. Because it's just time. It's just that time, Libra. You're absolutely beautiful. All right? Overstand that. Love Oracle cards. Overstand that you're beautiful. And you understand it now. <laughs> You understand that now. Yeah, Libra. You understand that behind closed doors. You understand that because you are behind closed doors with your lover who is loving every single part of you. Curves and all. Scars and all. They're loving everything about you. All right? And you are also loving everything about you. You're also loving everything about you. And to hell with those people from the past. Those people from the past tried to break you, tried to destroy you, but you are still here. You survived that shit. And that's exactly what it was. A bunch of shit that people were pouring onto you, but you survived it. You survived that, Libra. And now you're standing here. Now you're standing here like this. Loving yourself. Beautiful. To hell with them people. To hell what they have to say. People... Who spew out a bunch of shit at other people who are people that feel shitty on the inside. Hateful on the inside. They don't feel good. They don't like every everything about themselves. They have defects about themselves that they dislike anyway. But they try to make you feel as if it was you. Nah, Libra. It was them. They hated their damn self. They hated their life. They hated things about them that they wished that was changed. And they seen you shining. But they tried to make you feel as if you were not shining. As if you were not beautiful. That's what they tried to make you feel. But you are beautiful. You have always been. Always. From the moment you were born you were. A beautiful golden child. So fuck them niggas. <clears throat> Excuse my French. Don't normally use that language, but those people were acting very niggardly. All right. A nigger is like a very ignorant person. Anyway, what messages do we have for the Libra? There's a very foolish and ignorant people. All right. What messages do we have for the Libra? All right, here we go. Altered view. 
seeing things differently than they are, past conditioning influencing the situation, reevaluate. You have, and the grim reaper is here. The relationship is over. There is no second chances with anybody who's made you feel less than what you are. Anybody who's made you feel that you were not beautiful, who made you feel that you were ugly or that just because you were a little bit heavier or a bit curvier or because you had a scar on your body or because you, whatever the reason, whatever the reason, that relationship is over with them, with them clowns, man. That relationship is over. What other messages do we have for the Libra, for our Libra? What other messages do we have for our Libra? <clears throat> back together. Reunited. Good chance of getting back together. Uh, are back together. Things flowing well. All right. Okay. Well, it's not the relationship with these past people. You gotten back together with, with the, uh, the person who you used to be. The person when you when you thought that you were when you knew that you were beautiful, you're back together with that person, that being on the inside of you that was locked away and shut off from the world when you were trying to be other than what you are trying to fit in with other people who sat up there and acted like this is what you were supposed to be. This was the image that you were supposed to have. Screw that, man. You're back together with that being who is in love with you or your. Uh, uh, now we have the wedding ring, all right? Now, since you're back together with that beautiful aspect of self, you can expect a union, a wedding, a marriage, a soul contract, someone eternal love, everlasting. That's the person who you're with right now. That's the person who you're with right now. Or maybe there was somebody from your past. That the relationship ended. You were not get. You're not trying to give them a second chance. But you're back together with that person, and this person did not make you feel as if you were ugly. They made you feel beautiful. They was telling you that you were beautiful, but you didn't believe that yourself. So the relationship ended. But now you're looking at it from an altered view. You know, with this person that was from the past. See the relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child. Healing that inner child. Heart with the key. Welcoming love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. This is perfect right here. This is perfect. You're with somebody or you're going to be with somebody behind closed doors. You're in communication with this person perhaps right now or you will be. Where y'all coming back together. And because, because when you were with this person you didn't feel like you were beautiful. But now you know you loving yourself. So now this person coming back into your life. Mm. See, we got self-worth. Uh, wait a minute. Self-worth, okay? <laughs> My dad going to count us coming. I got to replace these. Focus on self. Self-worth. Time to heal. Shadow work. Self-appreciation. All right, so it's time to meet this. It's time to get back with this person from your past who was loving you any daggone way, regardless of whatever flaw you thought you had because everybody told you yet. Mm -mm, Libra. Snake. Complete competition. Enemy. Clever. Uh, look over your shoulder. The other woman. So you're going to have other people from the past Trying to come back at you. Who's going to try to compete with this person. Who are enemies. They're going to be clever with it. These people who made you feel as if you were not beautiful. As if you were not sexy enough. As if you were not good enough to be with them. Going to see you in love. About to get married. Your relationship evolving to the next level. These people are going to come back into your life. Trying to destroy it. Trying to compete with this person. Because they don't want you to feel good about you. Or have somebody in your life to make you feel beautiful. Because they made you feel like you wasn't shit. That's why they want to make you keep feeling, Libra. Mm. Here we go. Talking. Interested. They're going to be talking to you. They're going to be sending you messages, text messages. They're going to be calling you. They're going to be emailing you, hovering over you, these exes from your past. 
It could be family members. It could be ex-friends. Everything. They're going to be watching you. All right? They're going to be watching you. Looking, stalking. You know, gas, people who gaslighted you. You know what I'm saying? Golden mirror. But these people were self-absorbed narcissists. And you were in a one-sided relationship with these people. Now they're going to try to come back at you. Love bombing you, Libra. Don't accept it. Do not accept this, Libra. Do not accept this. You wanted to be appreciated by this person, but it's time for you to heal your heart. You've been healing your heart from the heartbreak of this person. Freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. These people did not mean you any good. It's time to be free from this, from all toxic shit from your past. It's time to be free from that because now you were somebody who was loving you the way you're supposed to be loved. And that's what the universe wants for you. That's what the stars want for you. That's what you prayed to your ancestors for. That's what you prayed for, Libra, and that's what you're getting. That's what you're getting, or that's what you got right now behind closed doors with you. Don't you dare let nobody from the past come back into your life. People who made you feel like you wasn't shit. Don't you dare let these people come back into your life again. Don't you do it. Do we have any more messages for the labor? Our labor. So that's it. That's it. All right, that's it. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Woo! I got hot on this one. I got hot on this one, Libra, because whew, I'm just, I'm just, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm going to have to go ahead and end this message because I really went in, right? <laughs> I went in, Libra. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I do that. But uh, I'm just going to leave it here. Uh, if it resonated with you, don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your videos, Libra. Now, if it didn't, then don't worry. Next time I do it behind the closed doors, I got you. Okay, Libra? I got you, baby. All right. Peace, love, and light. Hold up, Libra.